what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we here with some more black sales season one episode four today hopefully you guys are enjoying my reactions to this man you guys have said as much but i thank you guys i thank you guys for all the feedback you guys are enjoying me watching this i'm paying attention to catch all that i can catch make sure i don't miss anything there's a mystery behind mrs barlow um eleanor and max's relationship is a very complicated kind of relationship but not so much at least for me um it's not a it's not so complicated it's more of like um they have they do share very strong feelings toward each other but i think the level is what is the difference max's level is a little bit higher than Eleanor is level like Eleanor is not willing to give up stuff for Max which I don't believe that when you're in a relationship you should have to you shouldn't have to give up parts of your personality or give up parts of you know what you have built and stuff like that to to run away with someone that's absolutely ridiculous I think when people ask you to do stuff like that it's got to be a mutual agreement it can't be you know what I'm saying? You want me to do it, so I have to do it unless we can't be, and, and then you leave me because we can't be together. You kind of have to understand, too, that there has to be a compromise. So I think in terms of that is the reason why I say that Eleanor is fooling herself into thinking that she actually loves Max, which is, in turn, um, when it comes on to Max, I think most of her love is based just off of feelings because she doesn't really have any real ties to the island but Eleanor does so hers is more based on very strong feelings towards Eleanor and as I said love is more than feelings it, it, it's it's got to encompass a lot more than just how you feel emotionally about the other person so in any case, man, we're going to jump into these reactions and you guys can disagree with me. There's nothing wrong with you putting in the comment section, however you please. You might disagree with how I describe love and how I feel it should be um, demonstrated. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It is going, people are all pretty much so many different people is going to have different perspective on what love is, um, you know. But I think I come pretty close to defining it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. See you guys for the review. All right. Episode four. <laughs> Things are getting juicy. Now we got, you know... So we finally found out about Mrs. Barlow or AKA Miss Hamilton. You know what I'm saying? She she um ran off with Flint. Left her husband. Her husband was a lord. <laughs> you know, so um I'm wondering if that's who Flint killed on the ship. I'm wondering if he went and took out the husband. I don't know why. I don't know why he killed them. You know, but it seems like the story is true of some sort. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think she was going to be that significant to the story, but she is. And now she got Eleanor's father. You know what I'm saying? Eleanor's father kind of knowing her secret, promising her stuff. And now he's basically turned um, dude that had the guns on the ship. You know that was gonna give them the guns he basically turned them turned this guy against them so now it seems like they're gonna attack flint and them so i thought this, you know as a matter of fact i was thinking like when i was watching episode three i was like this is going way too smoothly there's it's gotta be at some point because there's only like eight episodes in the season so at some point this gotta rev up a bit because you know um, of how things are going right now. It just kind of seems like, you know, things are just going way too smoothly for Flint ever since he got the page, 
you, you know what I'm saying, found dude that has the page and has the knowledge. So everything that seemed kind of smooth, they lost a, a man because of idiocy. Of course, Billy's kind of doubting Flint in, in, in a certain way. And rightly so. Flint as not being the most honest person. I mean, as much as he tries to portray himself as this stand up, you know, all together guy, he, he's, he, he's a pirate, <laughs> you know, and they're all criminals. I don't know why. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but as the main character in the story, you kind of want to root for him. But at the same time, you just, I'm looking at it and I'm like, should I really be rooting for Flint? Because there, he has some dark secrets that we don't know a hundred percent of them, but we found out a big one. You know what I'm saying? Like he led his crew on some goose chase just for a personal vendetta. So it's kind of like, what's that all about? Um, I'm kind of liking Eleanor's father's character in a way. He, he just, he, he, the way how he, um, delivers his lines, the, the sophistication, you can see it coming from him, exudes. I, uh, I'm liking his character as a character, as a character on the show, not necessarily, or no, I'm liking the fact that a character like that in the show, not to say that he's my, you know, one of my favorite characters on the show that is yet to be seen, but I'm like his, his personality on the show is, is what I like, I should say. So they're definitely going out on a limb with certain things um the pimp is dead do that oh no the whorehouse um vane killed him um vane also is having hallucinations about something you know um i don't know what his significance is going to be in the series moving forward um but i guess that is yet to be seen also and you know the whole situation that happened with the ship man i was saying you like the way how people, you know, goo goo, oo, goo, goo, they oogle over animals these days, they'll probably, I know probably one person is going to be like, I would have went on there to get, to go rescue the cat. Listen, man, if you value your life, don't risk your life for animals. There's a reason why we are at the top of the food chain. Okay. We and humans and animals are not on the same plane i need you guys to understand this please do not do that please do not risk your life for animals don't do it stop it's not worth it especially in situations like that like in certain situations i can definitely understand if you feel like you know what i'm saying if you feel like it's a situation that you know the risk is not too high for your own personal life don't do it man don't do stupid things and then be like oh my god animals no <laughs> don't do it you know what i'm saying don't be stupid okay so um so it's just with that out of the way flint started to um to trust them found out that they know about Mrs. Barlow and Billy kind of know about Miss Mrs. Barlow, which is something that I think only Gates knows about. I think it's only Gates that knows about Mrs. Barlow that's on the ship. I don't think anybody else knows about Mrs. Barlow. Um, but apparently, hey, we out here. But in any case, man, the story is awesome. I love what they're trying to do with this show so far. Four episodes in. I'm definitely engaged. But in any case, guys, I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. And as far as I know, I'm going to continue watching this series. We're halfway through the season. I'm happy about that. Let's go. Let's get some more black sales. You guys told me that this series is very, is a very good one. And I see why you guys are saying it's a very good one. In any case, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the reaction. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys later for some more Black Sails. Peace.